All right, here I am. Hi. I'm singing, finally. Gonna wait though till some people get to y'all. All right, hi, Anna. And I don't know who the other person is that came on. Sorry, hi. <laughs> feel free to, oh, it's Auntie Mary, hi. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be singing musicals today, and for my family and friends watching, you probably won't know any or many of the songs, because they're more, uh, obscure. Um, hi Vanessa! Hey, um, can you hear me okay? I'm using a, a microphone, not, like not the phone's microphone, I'm using a new microphone that my dad got me for Christmas. And this is, I've been using it a lot for work. Hi, Matt. I've been using it for work um, to like record myself singing parts for kids and helping them out that way. But I haven't used it for personal use yet or with the phone. And I don't know like if I'm too far or too close. No, I'm not, I'm not too close, I don't think. But I might be too far. But if I get closer, then it's gonna be like really intensely close to the camera. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to start. I'm singing a bunch of songs from Jason Robert Brown musicals, like Songs for a New World, and The Last Five Years is where most of them are coming from, and also a couple from Bridges of Madison County and Parade. There's some other shows that he's done, but none that I like songs from, but I love a ton from these musicals, and I kept wondering where am I going to fit him in. I was like, I'll just do a whole day where I sing just his stuff. So we're going to start with the opening song from Songs for a New World, which is a quartet, and it's like a really, really good quartet with awesome harmonies between four people, and I'm going to do it by myself, <laughs> which isn't as exciting. Um, and also at parts, it's weird, like it's fast to sing all of those all the parts you'll see there's a part that's like she shouldn't be singing all that <laughs> uh, but we're gonna give it a try because I love this song oh yeah and I don't know if the music's gonna be too loud or not either and now the music is behind the mic it's like I have my the phone the laptop the microphone and then me uh, so I don't know how it's gonna pick it up please tell me if it's like too tinny or too loud and I'll, I'll turn it down or if it's too quiet Sorry. What am I doing to the sound? A new world calls across the ocean. A new world calls across the sky. A new shadows time to fly time to A new world waits for my 
reply A new world holds me to a promise Standing by, standing by It's about one moment that moment you think you know where you stand and in that one moment the things that you're sure of slip through your hand and you've got one second <clears throat> to try to be clear to try to stand tall but nothing's the same and the wind starts to blow and I you're suddenly a stranger tracks to a new world you have a house in the hills you have a job on the coast you find a lover you're sure you believe in you've got a pool in the bag you get to the part of your life you hold a ring in your hand but then the earthquake hits and the bank closes in and you realize you didn't know anything nobody told you the best way to steer when the wind starts to blow a stranger. Your life is different than you planned. And you'll have to stay till you somehow find a way to be sure of what will be. Then you might be free. A new world crashes down like thunder. A new world charging through the air A new world just beyond the mountain Waiting there, waiting there A new world shattering the silence There's a new world I'm afraid to see Jason Robert Brown Musical Week. That was the opening song to Songs for a New World where I sang four people's parts <laughs> and tried to pick the right melody. The part where it's like clearly not one person should be singing that was, you have a job, <laughs> you have a house on the hill, you have a job on the coast. <laughs> Thank you, Anessa. I love that song. I want to have my students do it someday, like mix them together and hear the harmonies. Oh. I would also love to be in in this show. It's one of my dream shows. <clears throat> okay. Oh, by the way, I think uh, there's like 12 songs today. Thanks, Auntie Marge. Um, like I said, they're all from his musicals. It's probably going to go more than an hour because they tend to be long songs. We're going to sing next is I'm Not Afraid of Anything. And by the way, song Songs for a New World doesn't have like one storyline for the whole show. Each song is kind of its own story. And all you know about the story is what's in the song, so you kind of can interpret it and make it your own. Or take context clues. Because <clears throat> I'm not afraid of anything. Jenny's afraid of water. I mean, she swims so well, but still, she's afraid of water. And so she won't go near the sea. Not me. Katie's afraid of darkness. 
I mean, she sleeps in all the still, she's afraid of darkness. So when the lights are out, she has to hold my hand. I don't understand. I'm not afraid of anything. Be it mountains, water, dragons, dark or sky. I'm not afraid of anything. Tell me where's the challenge if you never try. So watch me fly. I'm not afraid. Daddy's afraid of babies. I mean, he got through me, but now he's afraid of babies. Guess he's scared of what they'll be, not me. And mama's afraid of crying. You know, she tries to hold it in. She's afraid of crying. And she can look at me with tears stuck in her eye. And I don't know why. I'm not afraid of anything, be it growing old or going out of style. I'm not afraid of anything, who would give up what they want without a trial. Another mile, I'm not afraid. I hear the calling of adventure and I hear the ringing in my ear the lights are glaring trumpets blaring I'm right here and I hear the calling of tomorrow and I hear the stirring in my bones and David loves me he's afraid to hold me listen to the calling of excitement can't you hear the pounding of my heart? Lights are ready, pulses steady, I can start. Never stop the calling of a challenge, blessing of the water and the stones. And David loves me, he's afraid to tell me. David loves me, he's afraid to trust me. He's afraid to hold me, and he'll always be. He's afraid of me, and I'm not afraid of anyone. I'm sure to win with anyone else. Not a soul alive can get behind this wall. So let them call and watch them fall. Cause after all, I'm not Cold teary eyed acting. <laughs> That's was I'm not afraid from Songs for a New World. Hi mom. <clears throat> That's probably um, aside from the opening. That's probably my favorite solo from the song this solo from the show to sing. Thank you. By the way, I'm sitting today, even though it's probably not the best for these songs, just because I could not figure out a way to make the microphone at standing height like I don't have anywhere to put it as it is it's on the it's on a lunch box on top of the radiator <laughs> <clears throat> thank you okay now we're gonna sing stars in the moon from songs for a new world a totally different character a totally different story I like that these songs are very storytelling This 
fun. I've missed doing this. <clears throat> I met a man without a dollar to his name who had no traits of any value but his smile. I met a man who had no yearn or claim to fame who was content to let life pass him for a while. And I was sure that all I ever wanted was a life like the movie stars led. But he kissed me right here and he said, I'll give you stars and the moon and the soul to guide you and a promise I'll never go. I'll give you hope to bring out all the life inside you and the strength that'll help you grow. I'll give you truth and a future that's 20 times better than any Hollywood plot. And I thought, you know, I'd rather have a yacht. I met a man who lived his life out on the road who left a wife and kids in Portland on a whim. I met a man whose fire and passion always showed, who asked if I could spare a week to ride with him. And I was sure that all I ever wanted was a life that was scripted and planned. And he said, you don't understand. I'll give you stars and the moon and the open highway and a river beneath your feet. I'll give you days full of dreams if you travel my way and a summer you can't repeat. I'll give you nights full of passion and days of adventure. No strings, just warm summer rain. And they thought, you know, I'd rather have champagne. I met a man who had a fortune in the bank, who had retired at age 30, set for life. <laughs> I met a man and didn't know which stars to thank, and then he asked one day if I would be his wife. And I looked up, and all that I could think of was the life I had dreamt I would live. And I said to him, what will you give? I'll give you cars, and a townhouse in Turtle Bay, and a fur, and a diamond ring. And we'll be married in Spain on my yacht today, and we'll honeymoon in Beijing. You'll meet the stars at the parties I throw in my villas in Nice and Paris in June. And I thought, okay. And I took a breath. And I got my yacht. <laughs> and the years went by. And it never changed. And it never grew. And I never dreamed. And I woke one day and I looked around and I thought, my God, I'll never have the Stars in the moon. Interesting story, huh? The way it ends. No, I'm not saying that. Um... Oh, no, wait, not yet. Hang on a second. Hey, peeps. It's been a while, huh? I'm taking a little 15 second break. 
It's been so long. I haven't done one since Christmas time. And before that, I hadn't done many in the fall either. But the sun's been out. I'm like, oh, it's nice weather. And hey, I'm on spring break. Yeah. We're on a week break from work starting tomorrow. And so this is the intro into spring break. And maybe I'll do one next week too. I, somebody, um, my friend Kelly suggested to do a country week. And I'm totally into that. I just don't know many country songs. So if anybody knows anything, suggest them. Like Martina McBride or Reba or Faith Hill. It would probably take me some time to learn things. The only country, I, well, I mean, I know like Shania Twain from the 90s. Um, but I love Carrie Underwood, but I know that's more like pop country. <clears throat> By the way, when I go like this, it's because I, I'm closing out tabs and the window... The bottom of the window is like covering the screen, so I have to go like that to see it. <laughs> thanks, Vanessa. I am going to enjoy. I'm going to do things that I like to do for fun. Like read, bake. Oh, I made these banana poppy seed cookies yesterday. And <clears throat> it uses dehyd... No, I mean... Is that what they're called? Dehydrated? Freeze-dried bananas. And blitzed them up into a powder um, because then that makes it keep its nice cookie texture instead of making it like cakey and kind of gummy um, which happened when I tried to make pumpkin sugar cookies yeah I really like them they went fast so that means I'll have to make something new tomorrow <laughs> and I revived my sourdough starter out of the fridge um, trying to bring it back to life and I'll make some bread okay hopefully I get the timing on this right this one doesn't tell you when to sing. Oh, wait. Let me tell you what it is. This one's called The Flag Maker 1775. And so it's about a woman, what, what I gather from the lyrics, about a woman during the Revolutionary War, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's what it is. I know my history. <laughs> <clears throat> Guns flaring and the drums pounding, there's no hope of getting rest. With the lights glaring and the call sounding and the clenching in your chest. When the man's in battle and the baby's rattle only makes you more depressed. The wise woman does what she knows. If it's fighting, she fights. If it's sewing, she sews. When the tension inside overflows and goes too far One more star, one more stripe To escape your lonely bed One more star, one more stripe Join the blue, the white, and red One more star, one more stripe As you pray your child's not dead Till 
this foolishness is done. One more star, one more stripe, we'll be waiting when we won. Grab a needle, grab a thimble if it's all that keeps you sane. Think of freedom as a symbol, think of justice as a game. Think of life with independence, think of muskets and brigades. Think of taking the oppressors, think of banners and parades. When the gate creaks and the paint cracks and the cat cries and the night falls, raise a flag, raise a flag, raise a flag till you're free. One more star, one more stripe, till this blood sheds finally through. One more star, one more stripe, till they come back home to you. Define what you were and are. One more find that one interesting from the show because it's just totally different perspective and not modern. Um, <clears throat> messed up some of the timing though. Came in too early. Okay, one more song from Songs for a New World called Christmas Lullaby. This one probably has the most vague story to it. But I imagine, I don't know, I don't know what he intended as the full story around it, but a, a woman carrying a child for the first time, ish, I don't know, we'll see, <clears throat> this one's pretty. so long I don't know what to do with it it's been over a year since I got it cut <clears throat> I'll never have the power to control the land or conquer half the world or claim the sun I'll never be the kind who waves her hand and has a million people do the things I wish I'd done but in the eyes of heaven my place is assured I carry with me heaven's grand design
Okay, that is all the songs for a New World songs I have for you. There's others, there's a couple more that are like more comedic. I almost did one of them, but it's very fast paced. Um, and then there's a guy song I really love too, but I didn't say it. Cause it would be way too long. So now we're moving on to, um, what did I do? the parade song first. Okay, this is a musical called Parade, and I only really know this song from it. Um, it is about a real life story of a Jewish American man who was probably, I don't know if it's definitely, but I think probably not guilty, um, but he was accused of, and and uh, found guilty of raping and murdering a 13 year old girl in his factory and then and then he i think he was gonna like go to trial but he ended up like people like a lynch mob found him on his way to the jail it's not it's not a cheerful musical and they they killed him so anyway this is a song sung by his wife to like a journalist because she believes her husband Ink. yeah I mean based on the song I think so um <clears throat> and so it's her just being like you don't know it's called you don't know this man and like all this stuff you're spreading isn't true you don't know who he really is it's only like a two minute long song it's very short stories, these contemptible conceits, and you think you understand how a man's heart beats, and you don't know a thing. It's quiet. You don't... Oh, crap! <laughs> Am I still here? Wait, I gotta turn it around. Am I still here? Are you still here? Do I have to stop it? start over <laughs> it dropped I'm seeing reactions oh okay that's good I can't believe it didn't kick you out well um I'm gonna start it over because it's such a short song and I don't know where where I ended <clears throat> hi Deb hi everyone hey good <laughs> you don't know this man you don't know a thing. <clears throat> you come here with these horrifying stories, these contemptible conceits, and you think you understand how a man's heart beats, but you don't know a thing. You don't know this man. You don't even try When a man writes
writes his mother every Sunday, pays his bills before they're due, works so hard to feed his family, there's your murderer for you. And you stand there spitting words that you know aren't true. Then you don't know this man. I don't think you could. You don't have the right to know a man that wise and good. He is a decent man. He is an honest man. And you don't. Not from me, not from anyone who knows him, not a morsel, not a crumb, not a clue. I have nothing more to say to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Short song. Intense, though. Hold on, I feel like something got weird. My ankle. I feel like it was lower before. I just need to sit up higher. So that's the only song I'm singing from Parade. And now I'm going to sing some stuff from Bridges of Madison County. Did you know that it was turned into a musical? It was, and it was really good. I really loved it. And Beautiful, beautiful music, very sweeping. Huh. And uh, the f I'm only gonna sing, well, it's hard, it was hard to find tracks for this, but I'm only gonna sing one song by Francesca, the main, the main girl, lady, woman. Uh, and then the other song that I'm gonna start with actually is called Another Life. And it is a song told from the perspective of, what's his name, Robert. I haven't seen the movie, but um, the characters, I think, are all the same. So it's like the perspective of his wife that he's not with anymore, kind of like about their life, because he's hard to get to know and hard to crack. And I love this song. It's like my favorite song from the musical. <clears throat> I like the feel to the music. <clears throat> Put inside the picture frame Some tables and a coffee pot A uniform, a girl of 23 Sitting at a table Put a man of 37 As exotic as that girl would ever see Have her standing over him And laughing as he's asking her A question no one thought to ask before Color him with mystery Color her with danger and expose them just enough to wish for more. And there was something there between us, something I could never name, something strong.
another life, but I believe I grow to be the thing he needed most to see. And if our nights just stayed this hot, I'd break him. not back there in the shed I'll find a picture of the woman wearing four years of confusion like a scar walking through the door and leaving nothing but a note that says I'm sorry, Robert, tape to her guitar. And there's so much I still wonder. Did he need me? Did he know? Love is a Another Life from Bridges of Madison County. Love the vibe of that song. <clears throat> okay, this next song I'm going to sing from it, from Bridges, it's called Always Better, and it, it, um, I couldn't find a karaoke track, so it's a guy playing piano, so it's got kind of, it's very quiet, and it's got a kind of tinny, not great sound quality. So sorry, but it's pretty and I wanted to sing it. <clears throat> I have to channel my soprano. It's hard to do when you're sitting. But so this is, hi, Julia. Um, this is, a, what's it called, Francesca at the end of the play after she's decided, you know, not to stay with Robert, even though it was like this quick, amazing romance and they fell in love, but she decided she chose her family over him. And so this is her kind of reminiscing about it when she's older um hopefully you can hear the piano i'm sorry this track is so quiet also i hope i get the timing right because uh, it doesn't tell me when to start singing and it's jason robert brown <clears throat> You could have driven into someone else's driveway. You could have tried to find the bridge another day. I could have gone off to the fair, or locked the door, or washed my hair, and in a way that would be better. We could have chosen to ignore what we were feeling. We could have prayed to make the wanting go away. But what we did is that we loved. And love is always better. could have gone with you and left behind the cornfields. I could have seen a world like none I'd ever known. I could have tied my dreams to yours and slept beside you on the moors. And who could say that might be better? I could have not been where my 
my children turned for answers and never seen what they've become now that they're grown. But what I did is that I loved, and love is always better. It is hard, it is insane to place one. What a choice, and what a gift, and what a blessing. I could have never known that love like this existed. But then you kissed me, and you left, and then I knew. is always better. The end of that one. Thank you, Mark. So that Thank you, Mark. <laughs> oh, okay, that was the end. Isn't that a pretty song? All the things that she sings in the musical are very that. Oh, Vanessa, I hope the connection gets better. <clears throat> I bet mom liked hearing me do some soprano singing. <laughs> okay, on to the last musical of Jason Robert Brown. Not last that he wrote, but last that I'm doing today. The last five years, and I've got four songs from it. So the last five years is interesting because it's about a couple's relationship and it starts, it's told in reverse order for one of them. It starts with, it starts with the wife telling it from the breakup and then every song she sings gets closer to the end being when she first meets him. And then for him it's opposite and it starts at the end and then it, no wait, sorry, it starts at the beginning and when he meets her and then it goes to the end of the relationship. So it's kind of cool because you get to see it like the end and the beginning at the same time for both of them come to a point in the middle and then branch out again and so you get the whole scope and uh it's just a unique concept so this is the first song of the show which is the song she's singing after they break up <clears throat> it's not my favorite from the show but i do like it oh it's called still hurting <clears throat> Aw, you're welcome, Mom. I thought for these it kind of helps. In general, I guess it helps, but I haven't really done it much before. <clears throat> Long introduction. Gives you time to reflect on the breakup. Change. are mine. Jamie is probably feeling just fine. And I'm still hurting. What about lies, Jamie? What about things that you What about you, J? 
Jamie. What about you? Jamie is sure something wonderful died. Jamie decides it's his right to decide. Jamie's got secrets he doesn't confide. And I'm still hurting. Go and hide and run away, run away, run and find. Like it's simple, like it's right. Give me a day, Jamie. Bring back the lies. Hang them back on the wall. Maybe I'd see how you could be so certain that we have no chance at all. scars I did nothing to earn. Maybe there's something, a lesson to learn. But that wouldn't change the fact. That wouldn't speed the time. Once the foundations crack, and I'm still hurting. And violins. <clears throat> So that's the end of their relationship. And then now this is somewhere in the middle. This is a summer in Ohio and she's an actress. So this is her detailing a really bad summer gig that she has and so much more playful. It's a fun, playful number. <clears throat> a summer in Ohio. We only have a few songs left. I don't sing this song as much as in like when I would listen to the soundtrack, it's not one that I was like, ah. Oh. The song after this is my favorite song to sing from it. Um, so I'm not as familiar, I mean, like I am, but you'll see it's, it's kind of interesting. It's not like formulaic and a lot of it's like kind of talk singing. <clears throat> I could have a mansion on a hill I could lease a villa in Seville But it wouldn't be as nice as a summer in Ohio With a gay midget named Carl playing Tevya and Porgy
I could wander Paris after dark, take a carriage ride through Central Park, but it wouldn't be as nice as a summer in Ohio where I'm sharing a room with a former stripper and her snake, Wayne. I could have a satchel full of dollar bills, cures for all the nation's ills, pills to make a lion purr. I could be in line to be the British Queen, look like I was 17. Still, I'm certain I'd prefer to be going slowly, Maddie, 40 miles east of Cincinnati. I could shove an ice pick in my eye. I could eat some fish from last July, but it wouldn't be as awful as a summer in Ohio without cable, hot water, Vietnamese food, or you. I saw your book at a Borders in Kentucky under a sign that said new and recommended. I stole a look at your picture on the inside sleeve and then I couldn't leave. Richard, who was with me, got uncharacteristically quiet. Then he said, all things considered, I guess you don't have to buy it. So I smile like Mona Lisa and I lay my visa down. He wants me, he wants me, but he ain't gonna get me. I found my guiding light. I tell the stars each night, look at me, look at him. Son of a bitch, I guess I'm doing something right. I finally got something. I'm never gonna go back to Ohio. I could chew on tinfoil for a spell. I could get a root canal in hell, but it wouldn't be as swell as a summer is gonna be. Cause the torture is just exquisite while I'm waiting for you to visit. So hurry up, schmuck. Get unstuck and get on the scene. Love the midget, the stripper, Wayne the snake, and Mrs. Jamie Weatherstein. That's me. That's fun. I know more of an unconventional musical theater song, but it's a fun story and fun to sing. Okay, now the next song, <clears throat> and by the way, her husband's an author, if you didn't catch. Ha! Funny, in the lyric she says, you know, I saw your book at a Borders in Kentucky, and then uh, in this karaoke version it says Target, and I looked, and when I looked up the lyrics it said Target too, because it was changed for the movie version <clears throat> with Anna Kendrick because I guess they're like people don't know what Borders is anymore which is true <laughs> I still say Borders uh, that's the real lyrics R.I.P. Borders right man that was an era Barnes and Nobles are still Barnes and Noble I, Barnes and Noble plurals mm -hmm. um I hate when people call one single Barnes and Noble a Barnes and Nobles, but I'm saying it in the plural. Um, they're still surviving somehow. Okay, this is my favorite song to sing from the show called I Can Do Better Than That. And this is even earlier in their relationship. I guess it's like talking about her past relationships and now it's like early on in theirs, but she's happy with him. <clears throat> My 
My best friend had a little situation at the end of our senior year. And like a shot, she and Mitchell got married that summer. Carol Ann getting bigger every minute, thinking, what am I doing here? While Mitchell's out every night being a heavy metal drummer. They got a little cute house on a little cute street with a crucifix on the door. Mitchell got a job at a record store in the mall. Just the typical facts of a typical life in a town on the eastern shore. I thought about what I wanted. It wasn't like that at all. Made Carol Ann a cute baby sweater. I'm thinking I can do better than that. <clears throat> In a year or so, I moved to the city thinking, what have I got to lose? Got a room, got a cat, and got 20 pounds thinner. Met a guy in a class I was taken with some, what, they totally changed the lyrics, that threw me off. He wouldn't leave me alone unless I went with him to dinner. I'm gonna tell you how they changed the lyrics later, it's funny. And I guess he was cute, and I guess he was sweet, and I guess he was good in bed. I gave up my life for the better part of a year. And so I'm starting to think that this maybe might work, and the second it entered my head, he needed to take some time off, focus on his career. He blew me off with a heartfelt letter. I thought I can do better than that. <clears throat> you don't have to get a haircut. You don't have to change your shoes. You don't have to like Duran Duran. Just love me. You don't have to put the seat down. You don't have to watch the news. You don't have to learn to tango. You don't have to eat prosciutto. You don't have to change a thing. Just stay with me. I want you and you and nothing but you. Miles and piles of you. Finally, I'll have something worthwhile to think of each morning. And you, and nothing but you, no substitution will do. Nothing but fresh, undiluted, and pure, top of the line. And totally mine. I don't need any lifetime commitments. I don't need to get hitched tonight. I don't want you to throw up all your walls and defenses. I don't mean to put on any pressure, but I know when a thing is right. And I spend every day reconfiguring my senses. When we get to my house, take a look at that town. Take a look at how far we've gone. I will never go back, never look back anymore. And it feels like my life led right to your side and will keep me there from now on. Think about what you wanted. Think about what could be. Think about how I love you. Say you'll move in with me. Think of what's great about me and you. Think of the bullshit we've both been through. Think of what's past because we can do better. Okay, so, 
So the lyrics are, met a guy in a class I was taking who you might say looked like Tom Cruise. <laughs> and I guess Tom Cruise is too far gone to relate to like borders that they put um, met a guy in a class I was taking with, with some, what did it say? Something about like well-placed tattoos. And I read it and I was just like, blindly reading and then I was like, huh, that's not right. <laughs> and I realized what they did. They're like, nobody thinks Tom Cruise is hot anymore. Like what? Yeah, just, you have to just place it in the same era. <laughs> uh, how funny. Anyway, that's why I messed that line up. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, last song. See, I knew this was gonna be a little over an hour. <clears throat> okay, so this song is the last song of the show which is a duet, and the duet is the guy singing, being done, he's being like, bye Kathy, he's, he's a bad guy, and, um, and it's her first meeting him, and so it's a very, even more poignant juxtaposition, because <clears throat> like, she's so full of hope, and he's just like, I suck, I mean, those aren't the lyrics, but <laughs> um, so I found a version of Clark, remember I've sang with Clark before, <laughs> This guy has a YouTube channel where he sings the guy parts of duets for girls. So we're going to sing with Clark, except for I'm going to skip his verse. Sorry, Clark, because it's like two minutes long. We don't need to just sit here and listen to Clark sing. So I'm going to fast forward at one point and it'll be like a weird jump, but oh well. <clears throat> Kiss me goodbye again Leave this night clean and quiet You want the last word, you want me to laugh But leave it for now All you can say, all you can feel Was wrapped up inside that one perfect kiss Leave it at that I'll watch you turn the corner and go. <clears throat> so goodbye until tomorrow. Goodbye until the next time you Clark. Now we'll sing together. 
I thought I would end with that. But instead of goodbye until tomorrow, maybe goodbye until next Sunday. It was nice to do this again, and uh, I missed singing so much. <clears throat> I hope the sound was good, and uh, I'll do something different next week. I feel like there's still an era I haven't done. The 70s. Is there anything good in the 70s? <laughs> And um, somebody wants me to do country. I could always do a musical day, another musical day. There's always musical songs that I want to sing. Um, and wasn't there anything else? Oh, I thought about doing like songs from not Disney movies, but other cartoon movies from my youth and current. So that's something. I have ideas. Now that it's spring, I feel like, yeah, oh, I should do this again and like get more into the habit. It's just that it takes so much time to think of a list of songs and then find the karaoke versions and make sure they're good and then like reteach my songs that I, myself songs that I want to sing that I, I thought I knew and then I sing it with the karaoke and I'm like, oh wait, <laughs> I guess not. Um, <clears throat> but I like doing it and so it's just hard when work is really busy but um, trying to make time for me to and do things that I enjoy that aren't just teaching. So thank you for coming and thank you for staying with me and watching. That's so nice that you stayed to watch Matt. And um, thank you to my aunts and my mom and Anna and anybody else who was here that I, oh, Vanessa, you were here. <clears throat> and anybody who popped in for a little bit. And um, yep, that's all I got. I'm gonna go cook dinner. I hope you enjoyed the songs. Let me know. Um, actually, it would be nice to like, put in the chat what songs you liked the most. I'm curious, since most of them I would think you've never heard before. So which ones did you like? Oh, Deb, you're still here. Yay, thanks. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Love y'all. This was fun. Thank you. Bye.